What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Kay Jones, coming at you with another video. Um, I haven't really made a reason or like a video on why I've been MIA with my life. Um, most of it because it's private, but I felt like I kind of owed my 15,000 YouTube subscribers some kind of update or something like that because I just kind of like the YouTube channel is kind of just like, whoo, I haven't posted anything in such a long time or actively within almost like over a year. So, uh, I haven't made any YouTube videos for a lot of reasons, mostly because I haven't had the time to because of life circumstances. So like, uh, last year my life was, was really tough, um, for private reasons, you know, and eventually it got to the point where, things were really a struggle. And then my bird died, Kiara, which she was like <clears throat> everything to me. I think she's still on a lot of my YouTube videos and she meant the world to me. And it was, it was devastating, you know, and I, I really didn't know how to tell people how she passed away and things like that. And I even made a couple videos on like, life is hard and this is, and maybe that's how it should be, you know? And it was, it was just difficult times. And this was about a year ago. I don't think, I think 2020 was one of the hardest years I have ever endured in my life. I'm not saying it's one, it's the worst, but it, it, it was tough. Um, and then shortly after my, my bird died, along with my other personal things that were going on, um, I got COVID, <laughs> which was terrible. Sometimes COVID is not terrible for some people, but for others, it's miserable. It was pretty bad for me at the time. Um, and then shortly after that, um, in January, I had to leave my living situation and basically um, move back to my original hometown and figure out what I was going to do with my life. Um, it, it was, uh, it wasn't, I mean, it, it was, it was, it was kind of hard. It was hard and scary and I had to start over again. And so I had to move everything that I could within reasonableness back to my hometown and um, figure out what I was going to do, you know, get a job, go back to school, find an apartment really quickly. There was a lot going on, you know, and I'm not going to go into the details of why that because that, that's private. But nevertheless, that was a completely a life changing thing, you know, <clears throat> and then uh Eventually, I decided I was going to go back to school to because I, if y'all know me, I got my undergraduate in finance and it was good for me, you know. If you follow my channel, I got a job right out of my undergraduate degree and I made good money and I lived on my own for quite a long time, you know, paid all my bills. And, um, you know, at this point, I decided I wanted to go back and get my master's in accounting and, you know, end up trying to test to become a certified public accountant. And I didn't, I don't know where I'd get the money for it, but I was going to figure it out, you know? So, and no one can ever take your education away from you. So I decided to go back to school and, you know, when you fly for a master's uh, program, you got to take a uh, test prior to, to applying and you have to submit your test scores. And then you also have to submit your application and all that process. And I was also going through, you know, some really personal things where I also needed to seek um, therapy and things like that to, to kind of figure out, you know, that this, this time my life is really hard and, and that's okay. You know, it was just a grieving time. Eventually I was able to stop going to therapy around May, uh, right? No, nah, May, probably June. And uh, school started shortly after that. And I got on a roll. Now, meanwhile, I um, have been working extremely hard with a small business of mine that I'm very passionate about. And it's, it's more of a hobby than anything. But that's what's been able to pay for my schooling. So, so far, I've been to going to, I went to summer classes and now I'm in the fall semester classes. And I'm still debt free, which is a beautiful thing. So I, I've been working really hard with you know, the part-time hobby job and with school, um, going full throttle to get that done. So eventually I can get back to where I was before in my life. 
while also having more uh, leverage, or not leverage, having more uh, capabilities to even move up higher. Um, it, it, it's hard, you know, whenever you make a decision in your life and it doesn't turn out the way you wanted or expected, um, or you weren't treated the way you should have been treated or whatever the case may be, you know, life, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And it, regardless, all of these, uh, major life changes and emotional roller coasters and really just <clears throat> being blessed for friends and families and, I needed to get my life on track. You know, when your life is falling, you can't do the other hobbies that you wish you could. You ha had to, like, they figure out something fast. And that, that goes financially and, um, you know, long-term, everything. I had to figure it all out within a quick span of time. And so I wasn't really making YouTube videos. And um, I haven't been recently because doing that part-time time job in full-time school is really hard while also trying to be a part of my RuneScape clan, which is an online game that's a hobby, but it's something that I absolutely adore and love. And, um, and also, I moved into an apartment, and then they kicked me out of that apartment, so I had to move again. So I went through, like, stages of moving three times, and that was a pain in the butt. So you can only imagine, like, in the span of, like, four months moving three different places. It was awful, you know. So I just wanted to come on and kind of give that kind of insight. And um, we all, all are going to have bumps in the roads. What I like to do more vid YouTube videos, especially RuneScape-related or Life Talk-related, absolutely. It's The problem is, is I have to prioritize school. I mean, even this semester, I paid $6,500 out of pocket for my classes. So if I don't do well in my classes, I won't do well on the CPA exam, and I'll be out of pocket a lot of money. So I'm having to prioritize those things in life, and it's not that I don't appreciate my, my small group of YouTube subscribers. I absolutely do. It means the world to me. It's just that when it comes down to your mental health and also being able to provide for yourself and get yourself back on track with life, you have to prioritize, you know, taking care of yourself before you can put time towards your extra hobbies or trying to help others. So um, that's where that went. Another positive note is actively anytime I have gotten any free time, um, I have been you know, pretty much playing the, the card game Magic the Gathering, or I have been going to the gym. So my physical health has been really, really good, That which has really been helping me provide with uh, a good mental stability as well. Um, before, when I played um, RuneScape after work or video games more often, or I was posting more YouTube videos, all those things took time and I was less likely to take care of my physical health and everything. That being said, I appreciate y'all for still being subscribers on my YouTube channel, supporting me and supporting my hobbies and fun and life. And I just wanted to come here and thank y'all and tell you why I have been absent and that I do plan to return um, when the moment is right. And I also, I do plan to be a part of this community of subscribers that I have built over time. And it means so much to me. And this is something I love to do for fun is to come on and make videos and hang out with people. Even if I get some crazy comments. Um, and I plan to continue making videos here and there and eventually hopefully make them consistently again. Uh, but it may be it may be up to a year till that happens because I'll be doing school full full time in the spring, summer, and fall until next year in 2022. So um, thank you so much. And here's also to me saying that if you have been going through something in your life that one day it was this and the next day it wasn't, and you've been going through hard times, I promise you, you're going to be okay and you're going to make it through. Um if I can do it, you can do it. And everyone's situation is different. And sometimes we just need someone to tell tell you that you're stronger than what you think you are. 
and that it's okay to be down and low and cry. It is okay to do that because you need to do that to be able to, to move on. And, um, I think everyone goes through those types of things in life. And I think that me coming on and giving this little update is a little reminder to when, when times get tough, you can pull through. So thanks so much, guys. I wanted to just really show this as an appreciation video, a thank you video, and that I haven't forgotten about y'all. And I never will. And that as soon as I have the time, energy, and motivation to come on and enjoy and have fun with videos again, I absolutely will. Thank y'all so much and may the force be with you always.